friends, Emily here. Welcome back to my corner of the internet. Uh, thanks for being here. Right now I have a longer video that I'm working on editing, um, which isn't going to be able to come out today. I just can't get it done. But I thought it might be fun to do something in the meantime that a lot of people have asked me to do over the years. Learn how to hold a knife. I'm going to show you some super basic knife skills. I did some Googling. I'll show you what I was doing wrong, and I'll show you how to do it right so that, you know, going forward, none of us get made fun of for how we hold a knife on the internet. Let's go! Alright, a few quick basic knife tips. Because <laughs> the tip, it's a pun, it was accidental. One, if you are chopping, you should always be looking at the blade. Don't do this. Don't do that. You want to be looking at the knife if you're holding the knife. Um, number two, keep your knife sharp. Um, a dull knife is a much less safe knife. I've definitely had knives that got so dull they could bounce off a tomato and that was not ideal because they were like slip sliding and bouncing around. Uh, number three, don't talk with a knife in your hand. Um, <laughs> and number four, never try to catch a falling knife. If you drop a knife, try to just get the flip out of the way and make sure everybody else is also out of the way. Those are some things that I learned on the internet. Um, now let's talk about actually using the knife. All right, so if you flip back through the various Epicurious and my own videos that include me chopping, you might see me doing something like this. And I thought I was doing a pretty good job, but it turns out this finger, not a good idea. You should actually be like holding the knife like this. I don't know if you can see like my thumb is on it and my fingers on it, and then these three wrapped around like that. And that's gonna give you a lot more control. Turns out, actually does feel feel better. <laughs> um, some people do this, and that's also acceptable according to a video I watched with Jack Pepin, and I trust him. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is show you how I was doing it wrong, so that you can actually see what the problem is. Um, okay, so I would hold things like this, and this like this, or like this, and I would just kind of like be chopping. And, you know, there's a lot of unsteadiness going on here. And you can see even naturally my fingers start to go, oh no, fantastic. And they're absolutely right. So instead what I should be doing is I should do that with the knife, hold thumb, finger, three fingers down like this, flip that, tip down on the cutting board, and then I'm gonna make a little eagle claw like this. And then I'm always safe from the knife and I can push my mushroom forward without getting my fingers in the way and I have a lot more accuracy so I can actually slice it like super thin like so neat right now you know the more you know put the knife down Emily the more you know <laughs> so yeah that's how you keep your fingers safe and I'm gonna I'm gonna I guess I'll do that from now on leveling up <laughs> All right, that's that. Thanks so much for being here. Let me know if you like this idea for a series. Uh, give this video a like. If you like it, subscribe if you want to subscribe. Um, and I'll see you very soon. I'll be back with another video before you know it. And I'll catch up with you later. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>